Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlok with your host Nitin Nair. It's an exciting day today at the world of Mythlok because we have just decided to add one more new mythology into our collection. And as you all know, we've been exploring a lot more different mythologies from different regions and adding them just so that we can showcase the best of what is out there. The decision that we've taken is to add an additional mythology into our Middle Eastern mythology section, which comprises of all the different mythologies of the ancient cultures that were prevalent in the Middle East. Among uh, the Middle East, we are looking into Arabian mythology, Persian or Iranian mythology, and the new one which we've added is Sumerian mythology. Now, the Sumerians were an ancient civilization that existed in the region, and we believe that they have had a very big influence on the kind of culture and traditions in the area. So we begin with none other than Namu, the creator goddess. Namu, the creator goddess of Sumerian mythology, came from the sea and gave birth to the universe. She represented the freshwater Apsu, which Sumerians believed was a source of life and fertility. In Sumerian mythology, she was a primeval goddess who was associated with the ancient Mesopotamian deities and was also referred to as a mother who gave birth to the earth and the heavens. Although she is not well documented in Sumerian mythology, she may have been more significant than previously believed. An example of her continued relevance is the naming of the founder of the third dynasty, Ur-Namu. Many researchers believe that uh, Namu was very significant in the times because a lot of the different gods and goddesses seem to have emerged from her. Although Namu is a very important figure in Sumerian mythology, there are hardly any references to her physical features other than the fact that she was a female goddess and represented as a woman. Namu, whose mate was Engur, gave birth to Ansha, the All-Father, and Kishar, the All-Mother, who in turn had An, who was a Sky Father, and Ki, the Earth Mother. The other main god of the Sumerians, Enki, is considered to be a son of Namu and An. Namu is also referred to as Nama in some of the inscriptions found among the ruins. Namu is believed to have been the creator of the earth, heavens and oceans, and everything that exists. This includes other major gods and deities who are part of the pantheon. She is said to have been instrumental in the creation of humans, as well along with her son Enki, who created humans in the image of the gods. Modern archaeologists and historians are still trying to find more references of Namu before she became insignificant in the grand scheme of things in Sumerian mythology. The rise of Ur-Namu in the 3rd dynasty has also added to the confusion of the origin and stories revolving around the creator goddess due to the similarity in their names. Years of influence of the ultra-conservative terrorist organization ISIS has resulted in the destruction of numerous archaeological findings and research as it does not comply with their version of Islam. This included the destruction of statues, figurines, inscriptions and a lot more that still had to be documented or studied upon before reaching a proper conclusion. As you can see, the region has had its share of unwanted influence of different religions and different groups that resulted in the traditional cultures, mythology and religion of the area getting diluted or hidden from us in modern times. We will be exploring a lot more on about the Sumerian mythology and the various characters that form a part of it in the days to come. Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Mythlok. This is your host, Nitin Naya, signing out by reminding you once again that Mythlok is the home of mythology. <laughs>